In this tutorial, I will show you how to align selected objects using the shortcut keys. If you notice here in the left side, we've got text here saying that T is for top, B for bottom, L is for left. That actually is the shortcut keys of, of aligning selected objects. So for example, I have two objects. I'm going to delete this first. I've got two objects and I want to, uh, let's say I have, I'm going to create a square here or a rectangle. And uh, first I'm going to, let's say my objective is to put this one on the top of the rectangle. Okay, so I click the ball first and I hold down shift and I click on the rectangle and the rectangle and then type in T for top you notice that it went to the top right now I'm going to click on the ball first hold down shift and click on the rec rectangle and I'll type in L it goes to the left side so that's the for left alignment now, while it's while both are selected, I can type in B for bottom, R for right, and then C is for vertical center, and E is for horizontal center. Now, what if I have three objects? I'm just going to delete that one let's say I have four objects now now you have to remember that the last selected object will be the basis of your alignment okay so for example here I click here hold down shift click this ball here and then hold down shift click on this ball and then the last ball would be this one which this is the last selected and then if I type T for top this three balls will align to the top of the last selected uh, ball so T for top then it would go align to the top now these are not all only for objects we can also do this for for text so for example here I have some paragraph text here and uh, let's say I'm creating a brochure or a document and I want to align this this uh, paragraph text so it's like objects I click hold on shift click 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 and the last one would be my basis type L for left so it's going to be align to the left now looking at objects here same thing click 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 let's just make it different shape I mean different sizes here and then my objective here is to make this um, horizontally centered so horizontally centered that the shortcut key is letter E for horizontal center. So going back to my objects here, I click, hold down shift, click, 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 and type E to make it horizontal center. If I draw a line here or a grid, that's centered horizontally. Now you can also combine uh, aligning let's say I'm going to align this objects here with the paragraph okay. okay so let's say I'm okay with the spacing here now this one I first of all I want to align it to the center uh, vertically vertically or centered so vertically centered is letter C so click on this hold down shift click on the second one and the third one and then type in letter C 
to vertically center okay now it's already vertically centered so what I'm going to do I'm moving it here but now I want to if you notice it's not aligned to the top of the paragraph so I click on this one and then the last one would be my basis so hold on shift and click on this and type T for top same as this one click on this one hold down shift click on the, the paragraph text and T for top and then this one too hold down shift click here T for top now you know that these are aligned already on top 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 now there's one here that we haven't uh, talked about P for center to page now I, I'm going to drop all of this down first okay I'm going to delete this okay so this is my page now if I click on this ball here and type in P it would go to the center of the page so that's the concept of letter P so centering it to the page if we say for example this one here I select everything I mean all the shapes here the color rectangles and if I type in P all of it will go to the center so if you notice all of it will go to the center so that's typing letter P to center it to the page.